Hello and welcome back to World 360. On Monday, the European Union said that it would begin reviewing membership applications by Ukraine and two other former Soviet states. The two other former Soviet states I'm talking about are Georgia and Moldova. As you can see on the map, both these countries are strategically located in Russia's neighborhood. Now, these two countries applying for membership to the EU underlines their fear that Russia's military invasion won't just stop at Ukraine. On 2nd March, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia was seeking to erase Ukraine and its history and requested the EU to fast-track its membership application. Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission President, has gone on record to say that Ukraine was one of us and we want them in the EU. Now, applying to the EU is a long process that takes years, but Ukraine has applied under a new special procedure that could fast-track this process. By joining the EU, Ukraine is riding on the hope that this would secure its borders with Russia. Keep in mind that the EU, along with the US and other Western countries, have imposed the harshest economic sanctions on Moscow aimed at crumbling its economy. Georgia and Moldova have previously expressed their intent to join both the EU and NATO, but now they're requesting the EU to fast-track their process. In fact, Georgia had initially said it would apply to the EU only in 2024. In a previous World 360, we had explained how Georgia has long been trying to move out of Moscow's shadow, especially given Russian forces had helped two breakaway territories, Abkhazia and South Ossetia, declare autonomy. It's a similar story in Moldova, where Russia has a presence in the self-declared Republic of Transnistria. In fact, it's the same story with the territories of Donetsk and Luhansk in eastern Ukraine, which Vladimir Putin officially recognized, thus paving the way for the military invasion we're seeing today. So all in all, Abkhazia and South Ossetia, Transnistria, Donetsk and Luhansk are all technically separatist regions. but. Russia has played a role in trying to help them become breakaway territories. That's probably what's making Georgia and Moldova so anxious to speed up their EU applications. In fact, Moldova's recent application to the EU is speculated to have been prompted when about a week ago, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko presented a controversial battle map. Keep in mind that Lukashenko is a close ally of Putin's whose troops have joined Russian forces invading Ukraine. Now, in this battle map, it appeared that Belarusian forces would make an incursion into Transnistria. As you can see on the separate map, Transnistria lies on the border between Ukraine and Moldova. Let's for a second look at just how many EU members or even candidates there are in Russia's eastern backyard. As you can see, it's an overwhelming majority of countries in this region. Then, of course, you have Bosnia, Serbia and other countries in that little nook who are either EU candidates or recognized as potential candidates. Moldova and Georgia will now add to this list. Now, let's take a look at how many former Soviet states are EU members. The three Baltic states are EU members already, Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia. But with Moldova, Ukraine and Georgia's request, the number may shift. From just three out of 15 former Soviet states, there are now six out of 15 former Soviet states with an EU spotlight on them. Ever since the war in Ukraine started, Russia has expressed its disdain over Ukraine's intent to join NATO, as it views it as a direct military threat. But now we're seeing how other countries who share territorial disputes with Moscow are leaning more and more towards the West. The West has also expressed concern over Moldova and Georgia amid the Ukraine war. We stand with Moldova and Georgia to defend their sovereignty and security, French President Emmanuel Macron had said last month. It's worth noting that after Moldova applied for membership to the EU last week, Moldovan President Maya Sandu remarked, while some decisions take time, others must be made quickly and decisively and taking advantage of the opportunities that come with a changing world. The world certainly is changing, but these countries are also trying to find their footing amidst the crisis. For example, while the Georgian government wants to join the EU, it had also previously announced that it would not join international voices calling for sanctions against Russia. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pia Krishnkuti for The Print. Do subscribe to The Print.in and follow us on social media.